Here's a quick tutorial on how to create an awesome beer bottle render in Blender. The lighting setup works for many different types of glasses. First, add an area light and scale it so it's a narrow strip. Press S to activate the scale tool, then pick the axis you want. Here, I scale it along Y. Rotate the light to align it with the bottle. This helps keep the light focused and controllable. Place the light behind the bottle to get nice highlights on the right side. Then, duplicate the light with Shift D and move it to the other side. Now you'll have nice rim light on both sides of the bottle. You can adjust the intensity of these lights later when you add a background light. Right now it's hard to tell if they need tweaking, but you can always zoom in to check the edges. Quick note, I use the Light Wrangler add-on to set up and adjust lights in Blender. I think it's the best add-on for this, but do your own research. The link is in the description if you want to learn more. The bottle needs to have some glowing light coming from the inside. Since the bottle has dark glass, I don't want it to be too bright, so a nice, subtle accent is exactly what I need. Therefore, I add a third light to the scene. To make the glow more interesting and less flat, I'll add a gradient to the light source. I use the horizontal tilt feature in Light Wrangler to do that. The power needs to be adjusted as well, so I increase it to actually see the light coming through the bottle. You can experiment with different values to find the one that works best for your setup. In the object properties, I turn off glossy ray visibility to avoid overexposing the left edge of the bottle. It's a good practice to toggle the visibility on and off to see the lighting behavior and how it interacts with the surface you work with. The label is one of the most important things, as the brand and title should be clearly visible and readable. I like to use a simple area light positioned at about 45 degrees to the front. This helps avoid unwanted reflections. You can also turn off glossy rays visibility in the object properties, just like we did with the light source behind the bottle. This light position also creates a smooth falloff at the sides of the label adding some variation so the label doesn't look flat. You can spot a highlight on the glass in many beer shots or renders, since it's an obvious way to define the shape and show that the surface is shiny or slightly rough. Product photographers use so-called scrims, which are basically frames with translucent material stretched over them. Anything that diffuses light can work as such a material. A softbox or stripbox positioned at a sharp angle creates a gradual light falloff. Since we work in 3D and don't face the same physical limitations as photographers, we can create almost any light modifier we want. To get a nice gradient, you just need to simulate the same light pattern in your light. Light Wrangler lets you shift the main bright area to one side, producing the kind of result photographers achieve in a studio. The glossy surface will reflect the light, creating a smooth gradient. It's important to keep the light fairly close to the object, since it's easier to control than a very large light. I usually try to make my lights just slightly bigger than the main object I'm lighting. In the object properties, I go to shading, open the light linking feature, and set the collection that contains the beer bottle. Then I exclude the label to prevent it from being overexposed by the large gradient light source. I noticed the cap had some dark spots at the very top, so I placed a regular area light above it to fill them in and separate it more from the background. Last but not least, the background lighting. There are tons of ways to make the area behind the product interesting. Here, I use an area light with a disc shape and scale it into an oval. The light is placed close to the plane to create a high contrast between the top and bottom parts. The background material has bluish tones, which contrast with the label's color scheme. The roughness is set to 0.5, so the light reflected from it is soft and diffused. Once everything's set, you can tweak each light's power, size, and position to get a better match. I also added some droplets on the bottle using the Droplet Generator add-on, which utilizes geometry nodes. I use different amounts of droplets on the glass, the label, and the cap to add more variation. I recommend rendering the main object and other props on different layers to control the lighting even better. In the compositor, Cryptomat was used to separately tweak the bottle and the label. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you soon!